Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today we're going to install the Pace Edwards Jackrabbit on this 2014 body style Silverado with a 5.8 bed. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so now we've set up this shot, um, it, not inside the bed of the truck, but outside the bed, just so that you guys can see a little bit better with the angles. Um, now, what we've got here, we've got the canister sitting up on top of the boxes. Normally these boxes will be inside the bed and the canister will be on top of the, the boxes right up behind the bulkhead of the truck. Um, uh, so just kind of picture it there. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the rails. Uh, this is our driver's side rail, got the passenger side rail over there. First, identify those rails. Now, I've got the Explorer series rail, so if you've got the standard rail, yours is gonna look a little bit different. You're not gonna have this big slot in the top. It's not gonna be as, um, as big. Um, now, when I flip this over to the inside, we're gonna have the channel uh, that the blanket of the cover slides back and forth inside of. Um, also, to identify your driver's side and passenger side, up at the front where you meet the canister, you're also gonna have this large cutout what I've got also is uh, some gasket material, and that gasket material has some protectant over top of it. We need to peel that protectant off of the gasket. Okay, now this step can be the most challenging part of the install. Let me explain what I mean. Um, this portion of the rail, uh, this, this part of the channel, needs to uh, slide into this grooved area on the canister. Um, now, when it does that, the, can the, the uh, blanket has to slide into the, can the, the rail at the same time. So uh, the reason why we got a cutout here is because this piece right here doesn't move. And so that cutout has to go over top of this piece and then slide in. So once we get this threaded into here, then this portion right here slides into here at the same time as this portion slides into here. Let me show you the best way to do that. Line up the blanket inside that channel area now, this notch right here needs to be on the inside of this groove. So we need to make sure that it's brought in, goes inside the groove, and then we can line up the other side and then slide everything into place. But it will only slide into place once everything is lined up perfectly. Uh, now, one thing you will notice is that the rail is sticking out about an inch past where the canister is at the end. We're gonna do that to both sides. Okay, so now once the rail has slid into that canister bracket attached to the canister, you will notice on the bottom side of that there is a little hole uh, that's for a screw to actually attach those two together. So you've got a screw that's in your kit, you've got a lock washer and a flat washer along with that screw. And you want to make sure you do that to both sides at, at the same time and make sure this is inside the bed of the truck when you do that. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to reach inside the canister. We've got the strap that's inside the canister. We want to go ahead and push that between the canister and the bulkhead to get down into the bed of the truck. Now in this position, I can go ahead and lift up on the canister, slide my boxes out. Okay, so next we're gonna put on our bulkhead seal, but first, before we do that, we need to wipe down this portion of the bulkhead with alcohol. Now, we're gonna be putting this bulkhead seal uh, kind of as far back on the bulkhead, close to the opening of the bed of the truck as possible. Uh, on the Chevy here, uh, it's kind of rounded on the edge of the bulkhead. You wanna kind of catch part of that rounded portion. Uh, and go ahead and run the seal all the way across. All right, now that we've got the bulkhead seal installed, we're gonna go ahead and lift up on the cover and slide it over top of the bulkhead uh, on each side. So the rails, the, bul the, the canister is going all the way up against the bulkhead and the rails are gonna sit on top of the bulkhead seal there. Now this is a really great time to go ahead and lubricate the rails. Um, so this packet of 303 Aerospace is actually located, uh, taped to the inside of your canister cover in your kit. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear that open. We've got a cloth 
uh, that's in there that we're going to pull out and we're going to put it in between uh, the top seal and the wear strip. We're going to run it across the top seal like so and then on top of the wear strip. We're going to do this on both sides of the rails. Okay, so one thing we have to do is we have to make sure that this rail is 1 16th of an inch away from the tailgate when the tailgate closes. I took a 16th inch spacer shim. You got, uh, you got some white ones that are in your kit. I cut one of those in half. I stuck it to the end of the tailgate um, on either side and I closed the tailgate up against uh, the rail, forcing the rail forward. That way once I lock down my clamps, I can drop my tailgate, remove my spacer shims, and now I've got the 1 16th cap. Um, I'm only doing that because I have a bed rug that has a little bit of thickness that has to be compressed at the front. Um, if you don't have the bed rug, just make sure you have a 16th inch of the gap. Okay, now before we attach the clamps, we want to go ahead and center the canister side to side in the bed of the truck. All right, next we're going to install our clamps. Um, now this is a two-piece clamp system. The, the front clamp is going to be a longer clamp than the back clamp. That's because the front of the bed is actually a little bit wider than the rear of the bed. Um, and, uh, and so our front clamp looks like this, rear clamp looks like that. We've also got a spacer shim uh, set up uh, that's going to install as well. Uh, so all of these install on the exact same track. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull away the rail a little bit and we're going to slide the clamp into that track. and then along the rail. After we slid the large clamp in place, we're going to take our spacer clamp. Um, now you're going to see you've got a hole in one side and a track that's kind of offset. That goes closest to the bed cap. Uh, that cutout there is because you've got a little screw that sticks out of the bottom here and you need to clear that screw. But that's going to slide in place. And then we're going to take our shorter clamp and that's also going to slide into the rail. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to put the second half of the clamp together. Um, and when we do that, we're just going to take this open C portion and we're going to slide it over. The back side of the clamp like so. Now this will rock back and forth. Uh, so what we've got is a barrel nut uh, that's got the opening on one side here. We're going to slide that to where the barrel nut has the opening facing this side here. Now in our kit, we're going to have two lengths of long bolts. We've got a, the long bolt and the longer bolt. Uh, so what we're going to do for the front is we're going to take the longer bolt. We've got a lock washer and a flat washer going through there. It's going to go through both sides of the clamp and then thread into that barrel nut. Now we need to make sure the front clamp is about six inches away from the canister. We're going to squeeze that clamp together, uh, make sure the top portion of that clamp isn't like this, but it's kind of pushed up into the corner um, up inside the bed cap. And then we're going to tighten it together by hand. And we're going to get it hand tight for right now. Next, we're going to take our spacer shim that comes all the way down to where it's going to meet up uh, to our uh, clamp that we just installed. Um, with our spacer shim, we've also got uh, the spacer mechanism that goes back behind there. This is going to go in between um, the, the rail for the cover and your bed cap. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a provided uh, bolt with flat washer and lock washer and we're going to thread it up into that clamp assembly. Now, this has notches on the bottom of the spacer clamp and then notches on the top of uh, uh, the, the piece that's attaching to it. So what this can do is this can slide back and forth um, and adjust in, you know, into those notched positions. So what we want to do is we want to actually kind of correct the angle on the rail and slide this spacer all the way up against the bed cap. Once we've got that in place, 
we want to tighten that down with a 7 16 Once we've got that tightened down, we're going to go ahead and tighten down the clamp with a 7 16 as well. Now for the rear clamp, what we're going to do, uh, we've got uh, you know, a little bit of clamping area in here. We're going to find a good spot where we can slide this in where it's as close to the tailgate as possible. Uh, once we get into that location, we're going to put this clamp together pretty much the exact same way we did the front clamp, Otherwise, other than we're going to use the shorter bolt uh, along with the barrel nut on this one. Just like the other one, we're going to use bolt, lock washer, and flat washer. And we're going to tighten that down with the 7 16 once we get that into place. Now, as we tighten that down, what the, that clamp does is the clamp pulls the rail towards the bed cap and also down to the bed cap at the same time. We're going to repeat the same process on the opposite rail. Next, what we're going to do is go ahead and open our tailgate. We're going to grab our strap and pull the cover all the way to the tailgate. Now in this position, what we're going to do is we're going to shift the cover side to side and see exactly how much play we have from one side to the other. If we are within one fourth of an inch of play side to side, we do not have to install any shims. If there's more than one quarter inch play, what we want to do is we want to go to this rear clamp on each side, take the clamp off, install eighth inch shims between the rail of the cover and the bed cap. Um, or however much shim you need, you need to do it the exact same amount of shim on one side as you do on the opposite side though. Okay, now we've got the canister cover. We're gonna line that up uh, to this slot on the canister. Now we've got a, uh, a threaded insert that slides back and forth in the canister on both sides. That's going to line up uh, to the hole in the canister cover. So what we're gonna do is we're going to line that hole up to uh, that slotted insert. Take one of our provided screws. And we're just going to get it lined up for right now. Do that on both sides. All right, now before you tighten down either of these uh, screws, you want to make sure they're both first lined up. Then once they're lined up, you want to take the edge of the canister cover and slide it up to where it's flush with the edge of the rail. Hold it in place while you tighten this down with a Phillips head. You're going to do that on both sides. Now we need to go ahead and install our drain tubes. You're going to do this on both sides. Up underneath uh, the canister, there is a cutout. Pop the drain tube in place. You'll hear it snap in position. Uh, now, where I'm going to route this drain tube is uh, behind my bed rug, uh, right into this little hole area right here. Now, this is a little long for that, so I'm just going to kind of cut this down uh, to a length that I think will be good. do that on both sides. Okay, next we're going to install our Velcro strip. Now you want to install it right on the bottom of the track. Um, so we're just going to peel away the uh, protectant from the tape and stick it in place. Now I've already wiped this whole surface down with rubbing alcohol. And now our strap will stick right in place. Just like so. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. They're here to help you out.